Man, I'm so excited to, to share this information. I find a solution for the HDR on Windows. Yes! So here's here's what's going on. If you if you see this screen, this is from a program that is called um, the program is called VESA Display HDR Compliance Test. So here's what I was trying to figure out. Windows 10. I know for sure that it was not recognizing this LG C1 display and it was assigning a random, not a random, like a default HDR profile. So that default profile was pushing over a thousand nits, for sure more than the what, what this TV can do. That's why every single HDR game was looking awful just terrible because it, the tone mapping was wrong so I was trying to figure out what is going so what is the exact uh, peak uh, brightness that the, that the Windows is trying to push so then I open Death Trending to set up the HDR settings and I see on Death Trending I have a, a slider that goes to a hundred percent okay so I have HGIG on and I'm looking at the clouds to find the clipping point and I see that 60 60% so I calculate and I say okay if 60% is 800 nits 100% that's about 1600 so that's what's going on Windows is trying Windows is trying to push like 1500 so then I think how can I test that how can I know exactly if that's correct so then I, f I go to the Microsoft Store, I type in HDR, and I find this application uh, that is called, uh, you know, what I said. So then the results that I'm getting on that application are this. And I, I took a screenshot because I, I needed to update to Windows 11 to fix this. So you see on this uh, screenshot, the report of that application was, maximum peak luminance you know 1499 so 1500 nits so that's the problem so then i have this application that is called cru that i was using i was using this application to delete this 4096 by 2160 resolution that the tv have so with that application, I realize that when I open it, it also has an option for HDR. So I'm gonna explain everything on part two. I'm gonna show you the screen and I'm gonna tell you step by step what to do. So I'm just, you know, telling you the, the my thought process, how I figured this out. So then I open this application, CRU, and I come here, edit, so I see HDR static metadata, okay? So I open edit and I see here this max luminance uh, slot empty. So I, th I said, wow, that's great. So if I can put 800 nits, maybe that is going to force that on, on Windows for the, for, the H for the HDMI port. So then, I have 800, it's not working on Windows 10, nothing is happening, and then I, and I do this, then I do this, I, go, I come to the display settings. So I click here, you know, display settings, and I go to the display uh, information, basically on Windows 10, this is Windows 11, but I go to the display information, and I don't see any information, so on this screen, on display information is telling me the resolution 10 bits uh, RGB but there is no information about peak brightness and then I'm watching some videos about how to set up HDR on Windows and I see that there is a peak brightness information here so I said okay I have to update to Windows 11 because it looks like Windows 11 does have a tone mapping setting. 
but Windows 10, it doesn't know what's going on. It's just assigning. You tell me if you get this working on Windows 10. I'm going to do part two explaining you uh, step by step. And you let me know if you can get this working on Windows 10. But I think it's only going to work on, on Windows 11. So then it's working on Windows 11. So I, go, I come here to the CRU app. And what I have to do is just play with this number. So I started with 800. So I, I thought this number, max luminance, was going to be nit. So then I start with 800. It's, it's giving me a crazy result. So then I start lowering the number, lowering the number until I get to this 130. So with 130, this is doing tone mapping at 835 nits, which sounds about right for this display. This display can do 800, a little bit over that. So I think mine is actually super bright based on my measurement. So 835 might work perfect, or I might lower that number. I have to do more testing on games. But that's it. That's the solution. How can... There's no videos. I've never seen anybody talking about this. And I've seen a lot of videos talking about HDR settings for Windows on these LG TVs. And people are tweaking the settings. And you can get a good result with that. Like I was, I was getting an acceptable result in Death Trending. But when I turn on, when I when I compare that result with HLG, HLG is superior. <laughs> Absolutely. It is a lot better because there's no, you know, clipping. The overall brightness image is more correct. The shadow detail is perfect. It's like perfect settings for HDR. But how come there is so many people talking about HDR settings on Windows? They're completely ignoring the most important problem that's windows is just it is assigning a wrong big brightness for this lg oleds <laughs> and that's that's the solution uh, you, you just need to tell windows hey no it's not 1500 nits it's 800 <laughs> so man I'm so excited because now i'm going to be able for the first time to try all those hdr games and get a good result that's why I was like man you know HLG is just superior it's every single game I open is better because there's no way I would be able to nail the HDR settings if Windows is trying to push 1500 nits on the, on the tone mapping it's just not possible so yeah I'm gonna do a separate video I'm gonna do part two I just discovered this. I was <laughs> just excited to show it right away. And it's not difficult. It's simply just search on the on the internet CRU app. Download that app. Uh, I'm going to show you that step by step. But the only thing you have to do is just open the app. You just open the app and you're going to select let me so you're going to select below extension blocks. You select here this, edit, and then under data blocks, you see HDR static metadata, and you click on edit. And then on, under edit, you see luminance, max luminance, and max average frame average. So this was empty. So I start playing with the numbers until I get to this 130. If you want to get a hundred and just 800 instead of 835 you might lower this to 129 128 127 you have to play with the numbers and and you know after you hit okay 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 what you have to do on that app is restart the drivers basically so you come here on that app and you have to hit restart uh, 64 you double click that it's going to restart the drivers and it's gonna work so yeah, <laughs> so excited, man. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a separate video. I'm gonna tell you step by step. Let me know if this works on Windows 11, on Windows 10.